So like, excuse me, excuse me. I just want to say you are absolutely beautiful. Sorry for stopping you. I just think you're absolutely beautiful. Jumping into the Andrew Tate style pickup, there's a couple things I like about his advice and how this kid is gonna go about implementing his pickup concepts. And there's several things that I disagree with. Either way, I think it's gonna be extremely educational. So let's dive into this. Once you have their attention, what I personally say, and I know this is cliche, everyone's expecting some amazing line. It's really not a line. I wanna make my intention <laughs> clear from the beginning. So like, excuse me, excuse me. I just want to say you are absolutely beautiful. Sorry for stopping you. I just think you're absolutely beautiful. I will look so I don't have a problem with Andrew Tate's advice on doing a direct style approach. I think this absolutely can work, especially if you're a confident, good looking dude. If you're not an attractive dude and you're not that confident and you try to go up and you half ass this, it's going to instantly lead to a rejection. It's going to instantly lead to a friend zone or the girl saying, thank you, that's very sweet. I actually have a boyfriend though. And that's why this actually works for Tate because one, he goes up very confident, I can imagine. He's a really good looking dude. He's like 6'2". There's just a disclaimer on this part which is dude you don't need to be 6'2 you need to look good you need to have a good sense of fashion you need to be able to carry yourself in a confident way and when you deliver that line it needs to be congruent directly in the eyes when i tell you you're beautiful i'm not a, I'm not a punk i'm not afraid of nobody i make my intention clear the reason i say that is because 99 percent of the time unless the girl's a fucking as a person the only thing she can really say is thank you i agree with this part too if you're a good looking attractive dude and you can go up and say that confidently the girl is going to say thank you say you are absolutely beautiful sorry for stopping you i just think you're absolutely beautiful i will look you i actually like his open i like the distance he came in i like his delivery it wasn't super masculine but it wasn't weak he wasn't like scared as he was opening and the girl responds really positive. She like melts. It's definitely a positive indicator that we could now build off of in the interaction. Directly in the eyes when I tell you you're beautiful. I'm not, a, I'm not a punk, I'm not afraid of nobody. I make my intention clear. The reason I say that is because 99% of the time, unless the girl's a fucking as a person, the only thing she can really say is thank you. I'm sure you get it all the time though. Yeah. No. I just wanted to come and tell you that I'm sure you hear it all the time. And I was wondering if I could have your Instagram. I was wondering if you have an Instagram. The reason I asked for an Instagram is because it's a far less personal than a phone number. If you ask for a phone number, very few people have a phone number. Mm. But every random motherfucker already follows her on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So why would she say no? This whole dynamic is if you are just decked out as a character and you just go in and you're very, very direct and you go for an Instagram. Personally, I don't have a problem with the open. I'm not crazy about just going right into an Instagram. I think it's a little premature personally. And again, there's, there needs to be another disclaimer. Like if this is the route you're gonna go, not only do you need to be looking really good, your IG needs to be decked out too. All of those things will be working in your favor. I still wouldn't recommend leaving the interaction after that though. Like I would much rather, instead of going for the Instagram right then and there, I would just make an observation about her and then ask her how her day is going and get into a conversation at this point. There's really no need to go for a close. I hate when guys open with a close. Say, it's nice to meet you, Dre, Jay, and shake her hand. And I'll wait two seconds. If she says, what's your name? She's on it. I don't agree with this part either. A girl could politely ask you for what your name is. That doesn't necessarily mean it's game over just because the girl says back what her name is. It's all in her vibe and delivery that's gonna dictate whether or not she's interested. Because a girl can be very polite and say, oh, what's your name? And she goes, oh, cool. That doesn't necessarily mean she's attracted or it's game over. It means like she's being polite because you came up and you were at least confident enough to give her a compliment and she's a little flattered about it. Ava. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, uh, I'll see you here. Here's the problem that I don't like about this strategy. You ask for this Instagram, you do a name introduction, and they say, pleasure meeting, you take care. It's like, where are you gonna take this interaction now? You're gonna have to comment on her story in like a day or two, or you're gonna just DM her saying, nice to meet you, and then you're gonna run the text combo. To me, that doesn't make sense. That's an incomplete interaction. But I would've just gone into, what ethnicity are you, by the way? Are you Latina by chance? Me, personally, I would probably say like a sentence or two in Spanish, ask her if she's ever been there, talk about how I was recently in Medellin earlier in the year. Start bringing the conversation somewhere, instead of just going for a close and running away with an Instagram or a phone number. I just wanted to come up to you and say that you're absolutely beautiful. Oh, thanks. thanks. I'm sure you get it all the time, though. Oh, so, oh, you know, thanks. you're like, yeah, probably. Yeah. But uh, I was wondering if maybe I could grab your Instagram. Yeah, of course. You have nice eyes. We'll clear your eyes. Uh, like, I don't like his tonality either, by the way. Like, you have nice eyes. 
when you guys are hitting on women, the whole point of the line is to hit her on an emotional level. So the way that you deliver the line in the non-verbals is what's more important than the words itself. Gonna get back to the video in one second, but really quickly guys, if you're interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one to improve your social life and your dating life, click the button below this video, fill out the application for an opportunity to work with me personally, okay? Link is in the description, fill that out. With that being said, let's get back to the video. Let's run it back. Uh, I was wondering if maybe I could grab your Instagram. Yeah, of course. You have nice eyes, what we'll color your eyes? Like, you have nice eyes, look at your eyes. What we'll color your eyes? It doesn't sound sexy. The delivery should be a little bit different. It shouldn't be, you have nice eyes. That just doesn't sound attractive. So it's all in the sound, guys. If you're listening to this part, it's like, how do you sound when you're talking to the girl? And you'll know it's hitting well because when you say the line and you're looking at her, there will be an instant response. She will start to smile. She will start to blush. She will make some kind of micro facial expression. Something will happen in this girl when you deliver the line properly. Uh, sorry, what's your name? Eva. Nice to meet you. Nice and to yours? meet you. Kevin. Kevin. Nice to meet you, Kevin. Nice to meet you. I would just say overall he's just lacking a little bit of charm. He needs to soften his voice slightly in the right moments and hold a little bit more intense eye contact to hit the girl on that emotional level. This whole thing is very friendly. Of course. Of course. You have nice eyes. And I'm not here to roast this dude by any means. Like props to this guy for taking Tate's advice. I'm just pointing this out so you could see the contrast because that's how you guys are gonna learn from this. A lot of you dudes, the way you talk, man, the way you f talk, the way your voice sounds, it is not sexy. When you talk like that, it's not creating the right emotion. It comes off somewhat awkward. It comes off in a friendly vibe. I could say the exact same words, but when you say it with the right pauses, with the right look in your eyes with the right smirk on your face, it will hit on the emotional level that we want and the girls will react differently. Yeah, because I had a long day yesterday. You had a long day? Yeah. yeah. I'm a, I'm a pre-med, I do health science, so like. Oh, so you're a genius. No, no, you're, I'm not you're, a genius, you're, you're a prodigy but, and you're beautiful. Uh, but I got just lots of work to do. Okay, well I'll let you. Overall, I would just say this is like too nice of an interaction. I'm just getting like very nice guy vibes from it. Working, there's no Wi-Fi right now, so. Yeah, here, I'll screenshot it. Okay. Or maybe you can get mine. I have the same thing, the Wi-Fi thing, but okay, maybe, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, you know what, then so, I'll get back to Okay, okay. all right, bye. Sorry for bothering, I just had to stop. Yeah, my guess is that that interaction didn't lead. He's not leaving the set and the girl is aroused or attracted. When the delivery isn't hitting the right emotional level, it's not going to trigger within the girl the right feelings that we're looking for. Sorry for bothering, I just had to stop by because I thought you were absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sure you get it all the time though. Your friend's yeah. laughing, she's like, ah, this is like the 10th time today. No. No. Yeah, well, so I was wondering if maybe I could get your Instagram. I was wondering maybe if I get your Instagram. All right, that does not sound like a sexually masculine dude. Not to roast this dude. Props to this guy for going in. And there are still moments in my life where I'll do something where I'm like, oh, that was fucking whack. Everybody has it. I was wondering if I could get your Instagram. Like, that's not fucking alpha. <laughs> I have, like, a husband. You have a husband? Yeah. Really? This? Oh my god. Look, five years. Five, five years. You have a husband. Oh my god. Because I would have loved to date you. I would have taken you on three dates, five dates, just to get a kiss. Okay, let's go into one more. I like this open better. Hi, excuse me. Hi. Just wanted to come over because I thought you were absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure you get it all the time though. Um, I was wondering if maybe I could grab an Instagram. Sure. Even though the open went well and he gets the Instagram and he leaves, it's like, where the fuck is this going? You're not gonna be able to convert an IG with a really hot girl that way to end up getting her on a date. You need to run a full interaction there. Ask her how her day's going, make an observation, say what's up to the friend, start conversation with both of them, find out what she likes to do for fun or if she has any plans over the weekend, and then hint at maybe we could go out sometime and grab a drink or a bite to eat. Now I could say, cool, are you on IG or what's your phone number? I'll just shoot you a text. Maybe we could set something up for the weekend. Now we exchange numbers. When are you typically free? Do you got anything going on like Saturday or Sunday? Figure out what her availability is. Then I walk away from the conversation with us both agreed that we're gonna meet up over the weekend to grab a drink. You don't just completely ignore the friend, you swoop in like some sniper, direct approach, get the IG and bounce. It's kind of weird, honestly. That's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you're interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one to level up your social skills and your dating life, I have a one-on-one -on -one coaching program where you can work with me and my team directly over an extended period of time. Now that summer has officially begun, I cannot think of a better time to start taking action to accomplish your dream dating life, and I would love to help you. I've already helped over 500 men make a massive transformation and achieve the dating life of their dreams, and there's no reason you can't be the next one on that list. Link is in the description. Book out that consultation 
consultation call. Okay, do yourselves a favor, click the link below. That's all for this one, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Coach Kyle, signing out. Peace out, guys.